Well, hi folks. Lockdown week three now, coronavirus. Shop still shut. So I'm not making any money. And there's not much point in making any pots because we're just going to be up to our eyes in stock anyway at the moment. So what I think I thought I'd do today, as we're going to, coming up to Easter, is make something a bit different. So I'm going to make, try and make another giant Easter egg, which is quite uh, appropriate this time of year, hopefully. So that's one I made years ago. It's one of my biggest videos I've ever made, actually. So we'll have a go and try and make another one. It might even be a bit bigger, this one, because I've got a bigger ball of flare. So we'll get on. Like I said, I've not made one for donkey's years. I'll leave that there so I can try and copy the shape. So we'll get on, give it a go, and see how we get on. Get my tools out. We'll see how we go. Ugh, this clay is very soft and I haven't thrown anything for a fortnight, so... Might be a bit out of practice. And it's not the easiest shape to, to throw when you've not thrown anything for a, for a while. So what I'll do, I'll try and make a bit of a cylinder first as always. As you can see it needs to be very narrow at the bottom so I'll have to squeeze that in a lot. Just get a bit of thick stuff up first. So what I'll do now, to try and start getting the base really thin, I'll just squeeze it right in. Have a go at trying to shape it and lift a bit more up. I want to be colouring it right in at the top, obviously, to be closed, so I want to keep quite a bit of thick stuff at the top. So I think I better slow it down a bit now. First, so what I'll do, let's try and make it egg shaped. I'm just going to get a lift a little bit up and then try and close it up. I'm I may not be able to do it now because I've left it a little bit wide, but we'll try, we'll try. So I'm just colouring it in. Closing it up slowly. As we go. See if I need to shape it a bit before I finally close it up. There. I'll just mop it out before I finally close it right up. So obviously what I'll do, I'll put a hole in the bottom to let the air out when it when I fire it, otherwise it'll explode obviously. So I need to pinch a bit more clay from here. Right up, hopefully. I think 
get in there, I don't know what it looks like on camera. I like getting rid of this nipple thing on the top. Too bad, I'll just get me a big turning tool out and trim the bottom of this up. Try and undercut it as much as I can. So there we go folks, I'll just show you how big it is compared to the one I made last time. It's quite a bit bigger, but it's pretty similar in shape I think. So I'm quite, quite pleased with that. I'll just give you a little close up of it. It's quite heavy, it's a bit thick really. But there's my egg. So that's this year's giant pottery Easter egg. Just out of boredom through this lockdown we're all under. So anyway, if you enjoyed me pottery videos please subscribe like share and everything because it's the only sort of income I'm getting at the moment and it's not a lot so any more viewers and subscribers would be most welcome so that's it folks keep safe hope everyone's well and uh, stay indoors if you can bye bye